morning, y'all. Welcome back to another week in my life vlog. This week, there is so much going on. There was supposed to be so much going on last week. Everything got canceled or pushed. So this week, we have a lot going on. I've got some dinners. I have a Coastal Cowgirl dinner party I'm hosting. I'm going to Austin. Uh, I just got a lot going on. It's gonna be a very fun vlog. We're going to Austin at the end of the week for the Dear Media Summit. Macy's going with me. It's gonna be the best time ever. So if y'all are new here, subscribe. Comment below what time y'all are watching this vlog. I'm actually really excited for this. I'm on my way to my workout. Go figure, I know it's shocking. I finished Emily Henry's book. Um, after I finished last week's vlog, The Happy Place, a new one, loved it. And then I had a really nice family weekend. We went wedding dress shopping for my cousin. She got her dress. Um, I hosted a surprise birthday party for my niece Sophie yesterday. And it was just so good, all of us on TikTok, so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Subscribe, comment, say hello, and I'm gonna go work out. I'm going to get a facial at Jamani Med Spa, Preston Hollow. I mentioned my name to get money off because my skin is so dry. I'm getting a hydrofacial dermaplaning. I went to not one, but two grocery stores, kind of on accident, because I went to this like natural grocery store by the med spa, but they somehow didn't have iced coffee or salmon. So anyways, I'm gonna make buffalo wraps this week. I'm really excited. And then I got like a bunch of just random stuff because they have like all the brands that other stores don't carry. So Mary's crackers, I love these in a salad. And then I also wanted to try these Mary's gone cheesy crackers. Anything that's like a cheese it goldfish vibe, I'm in. Um, I'm also gonna try these carrot sticks. I don't know, I was just interested. Needed more rolled oats. I got a lot of vegetables. And then also I wanted to try these. When I land from a flight, I'm always craving like drunken noodles from Zap in Dallas. And it's the best ever, but it makes me feel like, it hurts my stomach, it just makes me feel horrible. So I wanted to see if this chicken pad thai could, you know, do the job. And that way it's just frozen in my house. Some spinach for wraps. Um, and I wanted to try these too. I really got to, like a ton of snacks here. Um, a new Primal Kitchen dressing, cucumber. These I was very intrigued by. Like I have so much seasoning, but it really overwhelms me. I know it sounds stupid, but I just wanted to try it. It was only like a dollar um, and just see like the vegetable seasoning mix. And then I was very interested about this. Bro, I want to actually put it on broccoli. Yeah, Buffalo Ranch. Oh, this is a dip. Not really a sauce. Well, I'm putting it on the wraps, so we're gonna make do. And then I just got um, some bags of rice, which I don't have a microwave, so I've just been putting it on the stove with some water. Loving that. I got some salmon, um, some Olipop, I got vintage cola, and then the Dr. Pepper one, because they didn't have root beer. Three different kinds of like pre-seasoned salmon and then iced coffee. So I'm more than good for the week. Um, but I just wanted to make sure I was like stocked up on like easy, like healthier meals. Um, because I've really been like on a good routine. And then this I'll also use in my wraps. But I like how they give you this box. I think that's kind of cool. Anyways, there we are. Here is my skin from the facial. It's like literally glass glowing so much. The only thing is that like my body is tan and my face is so pale. Um, but yeah, Dear Body Med Spa, Preston Hollow. If you go, they'll give you money off. I don't know what the discount is, um, but you guys can DM them and ask. But I get dermaplaning and a hydrofacial. And I haven't gotten it recently. And like for whatever reason, my skin this weekend was like sandpaper. I'm like, I need to get this under control. And a hydrofacial, especially if y'all are like new to facials, it's just the way to go. It is so good. Amazing. So Dermani, press and hollow. It's later in the evening. I got this set active set sent to me today. And it is the softest thing I've ever put on my body out of any loungewear I've ever worn. Like this is definitely up there. I need to let roll. <laughs> Cause I've been all over the place. Fitz, we're back. We got a bath today. Oh, wow, you are wet, dude. Anyways, he looks so handsome. He's gonna get a haircut next week. He's very excited about it because it's gonna be hot and he's basically gonna have to get a summer shave. So that's gonna be rough. Anyways, um, I got invited by Pizzana. Pizzana? Pizza. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, I don't think that's right. On Knox. I know that it's popular in LA too. I actually haven't ever been, but they have a like Mexican pizza. I think it's a Mexican pizza. I'm like pretty positive. I'm 
whatever. They have like a special pizza that's only available for this week, so they invited me in to like post about it and stuff. So I'm gonna go, Lauren's coming with me, we're gonna have dinner, and then I'm gonna come home and start reading my book. I've been wanting to read it all day, but I was just being a productive girly. No reading for me, you know? Anyways, Olipop, literally always. I love Olipop, I have one like every single day. I also really like Poppy too. I thought I didn't like Poppy that much, and then I, I don't know why I thought that, because they're so good. So maybe I just have a weird one, but I love both of them. I like live for these things. I'm not even like a soda girl, but I love them. Okay, good morning guys. I went to SoulCycle this morning. I went last Friday and I was like, I kind of miss this. Like I go through phases where I'm like in and out of spin class. I really love spin at the social, but here's the like really weird thing. Like I genuinely love my workouts in Dallas so much that I like don't have time to fit them all in because I only want to work out like five days a week, six if I just really want to go to a class or something. Um, but anyways, I went to a class this morning at the Preston Hollow location and it was Taylor Swift versus Adele. So it was so much fun. The girl next to me was so cute. Like just, oh my God, she like made my morning as soon as the music went on. It was Taylor Swift and she's like, period. Like she was just so funny. So anyways, had a great morning. We ended with All Too Well and Betty and it was just fabulous. But I am going to shoot some branded content look at how amazing these shoes are they're from madden girl from macy's i'm like obsessed with them i will be wearing them so much and then i also have i'll show you guys this really cool denim i picked this stuff out this really cool like denim dress that i love and i think it'd be even like so fun this summer for like concerts with like cute cowboy boots like bows i don't know i think it's really fun also i joined this thing not sponsored i wish called return mate today and basically they it's like a 15 dollars a month and they come to your house and do all of your returns for you i am a chronic online shopper and i always have returns and i just always have an issue like i just got a printer to print out labels and like blah blah, blah whatever um but i always have an issue because i feel like it's like not in the hours or whatever and it just like adds up and then i forget and you know here we are so they come to your house and they pick up all of your returns for you so I will let you guys know how I like that because I think I'm scheduling my first one for tomorrow and it sounds like an amazing thing. Lauren told me about it like months ago and I've just been meaning, I've been meaning to get on that. So anyways, I'm going to shoot some stuff and then today is a pretty chill day. I was going to go to an event in Fort Worth, but I don't think I'm able to. Um, I want to go on like a nice long walk and read some more and just kind of chill because this weekend's going to be a big weekend. Actually, tomorrow is going to be, you guys know how I am about my nights. I love to have an, at least like three nights at home alone per week. And I'm not getting that this week because tomorrow is a dinner party. Thursday, we're going to Komodo and then Austin. So I'm trying to like, if I can end up staying home, that's what I'm trying to do, you know? Just finished filming. I need to put some stuff away. So I'm going to go edit my stuff. I think I might go on an afternoon walk. I'm trying to like lather my body in tanning oil and get a natural tan this year. We're starting early. It is only May 2nd. My goal is to be naturally tan. So we'll see. It's never once happened for me before, but I'm thinking that this might be my year. I'm having an amazing night in. I have to do this like one night a week. I either cook or order in food, but I'm bringing in my water bottle. I have my pajamas on already and my skincare done. I'm gonna watch a little bit of One Tree Hill. It's literally only 7 p.m but the new Carly Fortune book came out today. So I'm gonna read that and just have have a time. It was a very productive day, getting things done. Everything is planned for tomorrow. I'm on a very strict schedule. So we're gonna be hosting Coastal Cadbury dinner tomorrow, which I'm very excited for. Guys, you'll never believe this. I feel like in every vlog, I'm like, this is the Coastal Cowgirl Dinner Party vlog. Well, I got so sick and so did a couple of my friends. So that got canceled for the past 48 hours. It's now Friday. For the past 48 hours, I had been in bed sick, like sicker than I've been in a bit. I went to the doctor. I had someone come and give me a mobile IV um, that was literally life changing. And I took a lot of meds and I am on, like I feel fine now. Like I woke up today feeling good. I felt better like yesterday afternoon, but like so much for the, I was barely vlogging on Monday and Tuesday because I thought like, oh, this vlog's gonna be so long because we're also going to Austin and the Coastal Cowgirl dinner. Anyways, don't worry, I'll make up for it. It's gonna be a great video. 
Um, I'm on my way to the airport. I love driving myself to the airport if I'm only gone for a couple days because it's cheaper, I feel like, than getting two Ubers. Um, and I also just like love being able to drive to the airport. Something about like once you land and being able to just be in your own car versus getting into another Uber, it's just so much better. But I have my coffee. This is how you know I'm a change woman, guys. Have you guys seen me go to Starbucks recently? No. I've gone like, I think twice since I moved. If that, maybe once. <clears throat> it's that cookie butter creamer, I'm telling you. I have no interest. Even this morning, I was like, I could go there. And I was like, no, I'm going to make my own coffee. I've never been that person. So anyways, I'm going to Austin for the Dear Media Summit. I'm on a panel tomorrow. We have a happy, happy, what am I saying? We have a cocktail hour party thing at Jacoba's tonight, which I'm so excited for. And um, yeah, Macy is my plus one, but she is meeting us there. I'm flying, which is a little bit dramatic, but Dear Media did book my flights. And I always fly to um, Austin normally, just because I'll take JSX and it's like takes two seconds. Um, but I'm flying there today, and then Macy's gonna meet us later because she had some work to do. So she's not on my flight, she's driving me like a normal person. But I was given like a plus one after everything was booked. Anyways, so long story short, she doesn't wanna fly. So I am meeting her there later. We're staying at the Hotel Zaza. Which I'm excited. I've never stayed at the one in Austin. Um, only the one in Dallas when I was younger. So, anyways, it's gonna be a great weekend. Really looking forward to it. I'm feeling so much better. I cannot believe the past 48 hours that have happened. Like, I couldn't even like answer like texts at certain points. But I watched yesterday like an entire season of One Tree Hill, I think, and I'm on the part where it's like Quinn and um Clay. Why am I forgetting their names? And I'm just dying for it. I'm really like, I'm on such a huge Wonder Hill kick. I know I've been saying that, but like, I'm listening to Drama Queens. I'm watching the show again. Like, I am obsessed. That, Nashville, and Friday Night Lights are my three favorite. And whatever one I'm watching at the time is like my number one favorite, you know? But so good. All right, y'all. I've made it to my room. Again, we're staying at the Hotel Zaza. It's so cute. Look at this cute little couch moment. It's pretty dark in this room. So you can't even really tell, but... I just unpacked everything. Macy's gonna be here in like two hours. She got a later start than I did. And then I unpacked in the bathroom too. We have our first event at 7 p.m. So I'm just gonna chill because it's like 3 p.m. I'm gonna maybe take a nap, shower, get ready, whatever. Um, I know like JC and Chelsea are coming, Peyton's coming, Sif, like a bunch of people are gonna be here. I just don't know when they're gonna get here. So who knows, maybe people will want to go do something before, but I feel like we're probably just all meet at seven. So anyways, cute little cozy hotel room tour. This is our view. You can't really like, it's that, but it's really cute. Just ordered lunch. I got some tacos and then I for actually forgot what else I got. Oh, Brussels sprouts. I just got some appetizers. Um, They're looking great. Guys, the gift bags just arrived in both of these bags. First off, look at how cute this bag is, but both of them are stuffed with stuff. I like, I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to do a full haul because they're so full. Thank God Macy has her car here. Oh my God, I've always wanted stuff from this brand. I hear the leggings are amazing. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <Driven the> tart. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Look at how insane my um, gift bag is. Like, in all of this stuff. I'm already planning on kids. It's like, you could not be me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, It's like, I'm at. So. I showed up as a plus one, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> Guys, so we just now, we ordered Mars like an hour ago, and the Mars got to the room, and I asked her cost me goes Blanco. So it's like a little bit of an upcharge, but then we get the bill. Oh, wait, let's let them take a guess on how much two Yeah, Mars right now, leave in the comments how much you thought the margaritas were. Like, don't, like, comment it now. Yeah. And then, okay. and we'll do a moment of silence. Okay. Five seconds. Okay, one, two, three. $125. $125, guys. I was like, oh, I think these are not the right ones. This is not what we ordered. And then they just ended up coming back. Sit down. You look so much taller than me. Yeah, sorry. It's and okay. I felt bad, but I was like, I'm not spending $125 on two like, marks. So it's like, if you spent, if anyone spent $125 on two marks, I get help. Just, like, do something. I like, think go we just need to talk Dave about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we're going to sign up for Dave Ramsey, like, right now. No, okay, literally. Let's try it. I, yeah, you would. 
But basically, this is the story of how we're drinking hundred twenty-five dollars marks. That's like a really good mark, though. Do you agree? No, it's actually. Really uh, it's like good. a real like I would pay one hundred twenty-five. <laughs> okay, right after. Do you think we're gonna keep getting them for free? Uh, maybe. Just maybe. Out of this here rich friend TikTok. Oh it's yeah, like, guys, we're gonna do a series on why. You need a rich friend. That's just so important. Guys, we're also kidding. I feel like, no, what did it's, it, it's harder for- No, it's the podcast listeners yeah. that I felt like, and I say that, but like, yes, the podcast listeners honestly probably know me better than anyone. It's just- Or the YouTube video. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I just always assume that everyone picks up on everything. And we're like really sarcastic, so we like say things in a podcast. I'll, but I'll I just think say they're just so blunt and be like, oh my god, like you're so rich. We'll be like, it's so, yeah, like we use or, rich or as be, like cool, like or, it's stupid. Or we'll be like, Kenzie, like you're literally being so toxic. Like, yeah. And it just got it, you gotta. Yeah, like toxic for We're actually gonna so do important. in her podcast like a glossary. Mm -hmm, on, so we can catch you guys up. Um, we're we're re recording on wait, Monday. I was also, one word is, um, or something we gotta touch on is like our main characters on Instagram. Like who, who we just like. Oh, that we follow? We're gonna say who they are? No, no, no. We're not gonna say who they are, but like just our celebrities on Instagram that like are okay. Oh, we have, we have like random celebrities that are like not celebrities, celebrities at all, and we're like, dude, look what they posted. No, but <laughs> we, we like treat them as such, yeah. you know. So. But really, we're just like confused by them. Yeah. So we're gonna get ready, and then we're going to the Tacovas um, thing. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Oh my God, it is. I know I said that, but I just so it. late. Time to get ready. We have our margaritas finally. You know, the really expensive ones. That, that we got for free. That we got for free. Life hack. Uh, budgeted budgeting. Dave Ramsey could never. Dave Ramsey could never. Also guys, look at this. Wow, your bag is so much better than mine. No, it's but cute. it broke the mirror on the, oh, on the flight. Oh. That's tough. You know. It's really, really tough. Well, anyways, I just pulled my hair back. We have to leave in like an hour. So we're just gonna have a girly girl time. We are finally ready for the night. My dress is Princess Polly, my boots are Tacoma's, my jewelry is Kinder Scott. I'm actually gonna fake a Jinx's accent on that, but um, yeah. this dress is American Eagle. I got it last August and I really love it. It kinda looks like a Love Shack Nancy Baba. Yeah, it really looks like a Love Shack Nancy. I've never worn it before, but it was 39.99. I'm not kidding, y'all. It was 39.99. Wow. And then my boots are just my Jeff Campbell's that I wear all the time. But we're going to Tacovas and they're really dirty, so I'm hoping they look at me and they say, ugly girl, let's get you some Tacovas. Yeah, they probably will. Yeah. Or if they'll like know that you have my other Annie's and they'll be like, where are your Annie's? Yeah. They're engaged. They know things, always. Okay. Should, be like, should I go up to someone at Tacovas? Okay, so guys, I wore- Oh, guys, I'm wearing a pearl stylish for the first time. Look at I wore Kinsey's um, Tacovas one day of Stagecoach and well, they're, she's like a half size smaller than me and they gave me blisters. So I'm gonna go up to someone at Tacovas and be like, I have these, but they gave me blisters. Oh my God, they're too small and you want me to a music festival. They're the most comfortable ever. Also, guys, I got the Rain Lashes from Kate Davis. I'm obsessed with her right now, K-A-I-T on Instagram. And it's the first time I've ever been able to put on false lashes myself. And it did take me a second because I was being a perfectionist, but way easier than any other ones I've ever tried, so. Anyways, I'm gonna switch to the G7X. And we're gonna head out. We have NPR on in the background. I don't know, it's gone all over the place, but tonight's not gonna be crazy. You say that. No, it really isn't, because I, 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 I have to be up tomorrow. You know? Like, we should get like late night snacks. But tomorrow, yeah, that would be good. But tomorrow, yeah, we'll be crazy. We'll be crazy. A lot of people are crazy. Yeah, no, I meant like wild on town, but sure. We're here at Tacovas, got our margaritas. The girls are here. I was doing um, like a TikTok interview thing. It's so cute. Here we are guys, Tacovas in hand. It was a great night with the girlies. Guys, we're having a bit of a crisis. Just got back to the hotel room and there's a candle burning. The candle was not here before. I didn't light it. There is no lighter in this room. I've never seen one and there's a candle. So, if we get killed, just make sure no one's in here. Can you imagine if someone just like popped out? Don't worry, I have liquid death. That's so crazy, Macy. 
Like, I feel like we should be a lot more alarmed than we are, but I'm just gonna film my Tacova's unboxing, so. We're eating our last crumb cookies. Apparently these boxes are $125, just like our margaritas. Um, we're just we're really rich today. Yeah. Um, and we're in shorts. They're really good. Thank you. Wait. Um, okay, so if you were to compare me to any one you have character, who would it be? She has been setting this up because she's begging me to save Rogue. Aww. <laughs> No. Mm -hmm. And she's like a badass businesswoman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dad has like severe issues with that. Uh huh. So you see it for me? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You really do that, right? You're yeah. not saying that no, because I, I told you that. What did you compare me to? <sighs> what was it being? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're so one of a kind. <laughs> you're really. I'm trying to think of anyone. <laughs> me and Catalano. <laughs> um. Nanny Gary. <laughs> Okay, also the vlogs are gonna be so tired, but I've been talking about Wonder Hill so much. I'm really sorry, guys. But by the way, uh, Stephen Coletti is at this thing. He's. I'm gonna play so good. chill if I meet him. Okay, well, actually, here's us tomorrow at the. Okay, ready? Were you on a TV show? <laughs> it's like Jerry Diddy. Wait, not One Tree Hill. Was it Two Bush Mountain? The OC. <laughs> I'm going along with like One Tree Hill to get that Two Bush Mountain. Oh, no, I don't think so. No, I think OC to get the OC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway, but. Like, wait, Steven Nicolette Coletti, that's right. No, but you guys, TCU had One Tree Hill Stars camp come, James Lafferty and Steven Coletti, and I asked Steven Coletti a question, and yeah, I hope he remembers me. He probably will. Um, what other interview questions? We're practicing for my panel tomorrow. I haven't looked for the questions yet, besides who I followed last. You don't have anything else for me? Okay. Which of your Austin boyfriends are you going to see this weekend? Mm -hmm. You guys, because she's always like, I'm going to Austin for work, so I'm just going to get drinks. And then she doesn't show who she's getting drinks with. Yeah, she has Austin boyfriends. Not really. Like, friends. Well, that too, but I also have my Austin boyfriends down. If I throw up, it's from but the But that wasn't the, the Austin boyfriend. That was that was we met at Acme, was inviting me to do something, and I was like, I would love to, but I would also have to start dating. So like, if I end up, I did confer basically tonight, so I'm like pretty much in. I say that she should just take my dating stories, cause- No, if I don't date by then, by the way, I'm literally gonna be like- Taking Macy's stories. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, and then, and Macy's not even gonna know. You guys. Macy's will be the audience. You guys. We do need to do an actual trip, so I think we should, we should come. No, I will come, if you invite me. Well, it would actually be good for you anyways, because Spritz is in Nashville. Oh, so perfect business trip. There. It's a okay. trip. Um, I work for Spritz. Oh yeah, okay. 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 Oh, God. so I have a new boyfriend, and Kenzie told me that the more she hears about him, <laughs> the more she doesn't want to hear about him. <laughs> the less I want to hear about him. The less she wants to hear because about him. Because he gets crazier. Because I was like, oh yeah, he's in love with me, and Kenzie was like, oh hi, yeah, like he's in love with you, but like, he wants kids now. They met in a music festival five days ago. They were on the phone, and he's asking her if she wants kids. I think that's a good, like, a weird, right? It's too much, really. I do understand the thing, but this setting with everything else that I know is I'm gonna just... ask my close friends on Instagram. <laughs> it, like, doesn't make sense. Macy? Well, like, for guys with me, it'll be, like, the honestly, probably the worst guy ever. Like, not even the worst guy. Like, they're always, like, nice, but, like, have like a raging drug problem or like are just bad news or like are have to be the loudest in the room or like really obnoxious and like clearly are like cheating on their partner like just like not the best guys right they could be great as later on in life whatever but it's a date no actually there's the worst <laughs> so, like and the, they're the guys that are like fun and you like hang out with but not the guys that you date right and every time mason did oh my god like i really like him like why not him and i'm like are you okay <laughs> And then I'll introduce her to someone who's like actually like, like the a good best person. guy I probably have ever met. And Macy's like, yeah, I, just, I don't see him. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, it is literally, like, Macy, honestly, if you tell me the next guy I introduce you to that I'm like serious about, if you tell me that you want me to him, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> and if you tell me that I you don't see me with him, I'm like, amazing marriage. <laughs> like, that's it. Crazy. Okay, but I also take chemistry into consideration. I have way more chemistry Okay. That that was not chemistry. That is like something else. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, like they're just not. 
<laughs> I'm asking my Instagram if it's weird, but all my close friends DM me to join it. <laughs> you gonna add them all there? <laughs> Is it weird that I'm gonna go and say Chris explain to you about kids? Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I feel like okay. this setting is weird. I don't think it's weird for everyone. But anyways, Mason and his to be good Samaritans. Samaritans. Sorry guys, I've been on my phone. No, she just doesn't care at all about vlog. I don't regret it to us. We were gonna go out and then we decided we don't wanna go out. So we're here. We're just so mature and like we don't yeah, need to like, don't go need out to be out of hearts. Like, it's like we're just so content yeah. with ourselves and like, you know, placing that value in with it. And sometimes you just need to wake up early, you need to meditate, you need to be awake, and you can't do that when you're out at the bars. And you know what? Who you know you're gonna be out at the bars? Not a husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, if we don't meet a guy at the bar, where are we gonna meet them? No, that's the scary part. It is scary. And you made me also this week. Did you get your nails done? No. <sighs> I made my wart removed. Okay. Thank you for that. Anyways, we'll see you girlies in the morning. By the way, pajama set from Skims, best ever. Good morning, guys. Last night was really fun. We just had a good chill night in the hotel. Um, my face is like, so puffy though, and I already ice rolled, but I guess I did my skincare too early. Anyways, I'm on my way to Dry Bar because they're treating us for the event, and I have a Dry Bar event this week. Like, I'm getting all the blowouts, you know? Um, I'm just like really excited and happy to be here. I loved your media so much. I was the first show that I ever developed and I'm like OG. I'm so like tight with a lot of like the people who like actually work for Germania. I just love them and it was so fun and it was great to see producer Taylor obviously because I've been around for that. Um, but I'm excited for today. Go and get my hair done. This is, I'm not kidding, like my second Starbucks in two months. That is so good for me. All thanks to that cookie butter creamer. Thank you. And then I'm, I'm good with a lot of things. Just so yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, wow, you know, anything that is going to be the shower, oh, yeah. 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 the coffee, the everything. So the skin also feels better. Yeah. Love. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yay. Yay. Can I have more hairspray? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, let me get it. Yeah. Anyways, I just got the most fabulous blowout I think I've ever gotten. The dry bar um, downtown in Austin by Angelique. Just love. Oh. Um, okay guys, I'm back from my blowout. I got the best blowout ever. I already told you guys that. Um, and I met my new bestie, her name's Momo. It was really fun. Now, I have to get ready. Um, that was also a fast blowout. I mean, obviously it's gonna fall a ton, which is fine. That was like, the point of getting it tight. I like have never looked more like Dolly Parton, which is like my life goal. Wait, how does your toothbrush just disappear? Like, do you walk around brushing your teeth? It's also like the lighting in this bathroom is so dark. Like, it's, like, it's darker in real life. Like, oh, no, that's a tripod. Oh, I found it's really easy. Um, <coughs> I would film like get ready for TikTok, but can't see anything. <coughs> so I'm not gonna do that. But anyways, the car is coming in an hour. <laughs> I have to iron my dress and I'm like so scared because it's my reformation dress, my favorite dress ever. Mm. Mm, it's so scary. So I'm gonna do that. Ah! <laughs> ah! Guys, I posted an Instagram story about this. But I have like always been so bad at putting false eyelashes on. I've never been able to put them on before in my life. Um, and I'm obsessed with Kate Davis right now, as we know. Oh, I think I talked about this in the vlog already. But the lashes, they're rain lashes. I don't know which ones I have on exactly. But the fact that I even have any on, and I did it myself, is crazy. Like, they come pretty curved and it makes it so much easier. I've tried so many times and I've never been able to. And like, I just did it again. Oh my god, so exciting. All right guys, we just finished getting ready. We're listening to Megan Maroney, her new album's out. This is the outfit. I'm obviously gonna vlog, but I'm gonna switch cameras. This is like a tried and true outfit of mine. It's three of my favorite and most worn pieces in my closet. My reformation dress, I basically wore this to Taylor Swift, but I added a blazer, so it's like a little bit different. 
Um, this is the most flattering dress I've ever put on my body and I want it in every single color. I'm afraid to get it in white because I feel like I'll just stain it. But it is the best dress if you guys are looking for like a dress that you'll keep forever. This blazer is Aritzia, my obviously Tacoma's boots. And then I'm gonna wear my Chanel and then my earrings are Jenny Bird, which I've been getting into lately. Okay, my makeup looks so bad on this camera. I'm gonna chalk it up to the lighting and just hope for the best. Vlog time, we're peeking around. Look how cute. Okay, we're going, bye. A million times over. I watched the one of you navigating the ever-changing digital landscape. Today, we are going to see removing the filters and getting real. My panel, we're getting some contact. There's another one, so cute. Good. <laughs> so, we went to dinner with JC and Chelsea. We're back in the hotel room, we're forcing ourselves to go out. I don't know what has gotten into us, but we're kind of in our stay at home era. <laughs> Like, I go out, don't get me wrong, but I never am, like, dying. Like, I always go out yeah. and enjoy it, but I never, Yeah, but like, you haven't, like, given going out in Dallas, like, an okay. actual, no, no, like... you always say that, but I do like going out in Dallas. It's just, my entire life, like, to go out, it takes a lot for me. Yeah, no, like, I just, that. like, I love just hanging out and, like, talking to friends. I hate, like, not being heard. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, you know, like, just putting in effort... It, it triggers you. Yeah, just putting in energy, like, to... I to totally people. get that. I don't know, it's a lot. Yeah. Me. Um, but we are gonna go because we're in Austin and some of the Dear Media Girlies just DM'd me. So, that is the plan. Oh, I asked girls for gossip on Instagram because I was bored. Um, ooh, this one involves TCU. <sighs> oh, one more. Morning, girlies. It has been quite the weekend. I got about four hours of sleep last night. I was feeling pretty bad when I woke up, I'll be honest. And I drank a water boy and suddenly I'm good. I'm, I'm packing and I'm heading off to the airport. It was really a fabulous weekend. I just loved your media so much. So glad that I ended up going out last night because we were really not going out. And I almost went home too when Macy and Rob went home. And then something got in me. And I said, wait, never mind. Oh, here's my purse. I don't know why I put it there. I could see like the the decision making in your eyes. I'm saying, I'm like, no, I didn't even it didn't cross my mind even that like I could say it. And then I went over to say bye to them and I go, wait a second. So I did say, and honestly, it was really a good decision. It was um, a really great wild night. It was fun. So glad that I did. Um, but now we're heading back to Dallas. Got to get back to the dogs. Got to get back to my life. And um, you know. Do all that. I'm gonna take a nice Sunday afternoon nap. Do you take a Sunday nap, Macy? I pretty much always do. But we were joking. I was like, what if I just planned out everything to like be your friend? Like, because she'd watched my videos and followed I, me way before. I had DM'd Kenzie concerned. back in 2018 because I'm from like a <laughs> suburb of Los Angeles. So when Kenzie was living in LA and I would live like 25 minutes from her, I DM'd her and I was like, hey girl, like I saw your YouTube video. I just want to say I'm here for you if you ever want to like talk. So I've been DMing Kenzie for like four years. So I was like, what if I planned my entire life to like go to TCU, transfer to TCU, move to Dallas, work for your agency so that we could be friends. And what if I was like this whole bit no, that I was like, just like a huge mastermind like Taylor Swift. It basically was. Um, 